very little has happened. Um, uh, but me hope that uh, behind long uh, statement from me to the president, if I notice him too, president's statement too, he short too. Uh, so, uh, I've got something he work a little short now, money too short. Uh, Minister of Finance. Uh, but in any case, uh, Mr. Speaker, I wish to update this Honorable House on the progress or the lack thereof uh, between the two governments. Mr. Speaker, on the 31st of July, 2023, JSB made a number of resolutions to fast track the consultations which broke down at the technical level in March of last year. The key resolutions were to escalate the consultation to the political level and look at engaging a moderator if there is any impasse. Uh, Mr. Speaker, of all the issues that had caused the impasse, only one remains, and that being the voting majority required to endorse the referendum results. I just returned from Port Mosby. I can report to this House, sadly, that there has been no resolution of the disputed issue. Through a series of correspondences between Minister Makiba and myself, the National Government maintains it will abide with the legal opinion of the State Solicitor. The State Solicitor essentially argues that because the ratification will potentially lead to the need for a constitutional amendment. The ratification must therefore attract the highest voting majority. The ABG's positions are one, sessional order will proceed by way of a motion, not a bill. Secondly, the potential for a constitutional amendment whilst inevitable is dependent on a successful ratification and attracts its own high voting majority and processes imposed by law and cannot be rendered inapplicable by agreement between the two governments. Uh, Mr. S uh, Speaker, I'm also explaining last year. Uh, national government, you will talk about them. Uh, the opinion, only based on the opinion of the state solicitor. Now, state solicitor will talk. Uh, suppose ratification the result is endorsed. It will lead to a need for a constitutional amendment. And therefore, this is a voting majority. It must be the highest, absolute majority. Now, you mean the Bougainville will talk. In my case, I've been arguing that um, whether I'm a two-thirds or simple majority, suppose result is ratified, and they got need no constitutional amendment that you rightly put. The all time law this no constitutional amendment, yeah. And by attracting own procedure blog. Uh, constitutional amendment, you miss away. And by God, Hamas play reading, uh, Namelo, Namelo, Tupla blow this play reading, he must got interval blow two months. Uh, now, voting majority blow and two thirds absolute majority, it's highest. That will happen if it is ratified, if the referendum result is ratified. But you cannot, the argument blow me. You don't have Kirab not talk. Oh, because M by attracting two thirds majority, uh, sorry, M by attracting constitutional amendment, therefore we must put him this flag on top. It, it, that's not a legal argument. It's not. Because even suppose you ratify him, you must still pass him this like, constitutional amendment where M got requirement where law you impose him. Uh, you mean to black up man, you don't have. Kirab and I talk, all right, but we agree long a uh, simple majority na even the constitutional amendment to yeah. But we make sure this like, constitutional process requirement doesn't apply. We can't. By law, uh, Mr. Speaker, 
those requirements of constitutional amendment, they apply. Regardless of one kind of agreement, to the government come up. So allow me, uh, argument blows state solicitor is a faulty legal advice. Uh, it's faulty. Now me remind him how also law clerks or meeting blown all clerk, law lay, uh, they had the benefit of their own lawyers. Clark Blo National Parliament was accompanied by his own lawyers Blo Parliament. And when our clerk made our position at that uh, clerk's conference on these very issues, the voting majority, because at the time we were talking, starting to talk about sessional orders and all this block. Or lawyers yet belong, uh, clerk the national parliament. They came back and agreed that it must be a simple majority, based on law, based on the standing orders, based on procedures. These are the people who will administer that sessional order, or line law parliament. All yet to, in their own wisdom, sit down and look, 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 displace you. And they resolve that in the case of the ratification belong referendum result, it should be a simple majority. Time Kibungi come up na melo mitupla Minister Makiba. Tok tok now we come up with some ah no uh, the clerks uh, were usurping the uh, the role of the executive government. What am usurping? Usurping the one and The law and the standing orders apply to everybody, and it's the clerks who are giving a clear uh, pathway long tupla government. Lo deal one thing. Lo me based long opinion lo state solicitor, one time current position lo national government, em giaman, beat la giaman, poreta sol because you look look you go, now you look in picture of lo independent nation lo bogan really work lo emerge. And you are doing everything within your power lo frustrate him. This la walk about long independence lo bogan will. Me repeat him, this la opinion lo state solicitor. It's not a legal opinion. Uh, he's, he's basing his uh, uh, faulty advice on the possibility of a constitutional amendment. But what does the law say? That's my argument. Law it talk one MTT. Standing orders it talk one MTT. Procedures it talk one MTT. Law justify either simple majority or two thirds majority. What does the law say? And if what, whatever the law says, that is what we are obliged to follow. Not to look into the future and say, oh, because there will be a need for a constitutional amendment. Therefore, we must make sure the threshold is high on this occasion, simply because it, will, it might attract a constitutional amendment. Mr. Speaker, I may not think opinion. Now, position of the national government. Let me send up the strong flag here. All this time, we believe yet also in Bougainville, government is an up a strong legal basis, and it is being independently confirmed uh, by the clerk resolutions in lay. Uh, because of this plan, because of this plan, one plan in pass, uh, Mr. Speaker, I have recommended to BEC, and BEC has agreed to push for a working moderator model. Uh, specifically, I have proposed that the moderator must not be one who is only engaged when there is an impasse. Rather, he or she must have resource people attached to his office. The moderator must have the ability to identify potential impasse issues and attend to those issues before it causes any impasse. Uh, Non-ratification JSB agendas. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the need for a working moderator is heightened uh, because of the many recycled JSB agendas. Uh, maybe the office of a working moderator could deal with the issue of outstanding restoration and development grant. 
maybe he could deal with the correct justifiable annual fisheries funding. The BCL says, uh, Mr. Speaker, transfer, share transfer, is now taking a look of a mystic prehistoric tale. The office of the moderator could assist by providing resource people to the bipartisan committee to provide awareness to national members. It is no longer acceptable that the parties make commitments to deal with these long-standing issues, agenda JSB, and then do absolutely nothing, then turn up at the next JSB with a fresh set of excuses, and the vicious cycle repeats itself. Time this la president to come inside. I'm going to make him this plus, him lo me plus some plus. Uh, all this plus JSB agenda, yeah, one in time by penis. Because as a person who signed the peace agreement, the president, even before he became president, had been following uh, issues that are discussed at JSB level. Uh, you had no choice but to follow the... Uh, JSB process because the very first agenda we dealt with at the JSB level in terms of drawdown was the mining powers. That was in the first house under Kabwe. So President Jai been aware along all issue of Lord JSB. And those same JSB agenda, after all these houses, they still reappear. Uh, because something is a come up. Me play all of JSP now. Example, talk talk law of fisheries. Na uh, promise come up with some uh, yeah, but all NFP want them all line here, but you work lot plus something now. We'll come back in the next JSP and sign off on an MOU. The next JSP, but you come, they got not play excuse all get oh NFA has and come back to us. Uh, sorry, we asked for that uh, six percent license, but they have not been, uh, there's no clarification yet from the fisheries department. BCL say one kind. Uh, me bless you down, one time president, uh, prime minister, and I brought this issue up, Lord BCL say. And uh, with due respect to the ministers, uh, Makiba one time Chamalini, they try to explain their way out of it. Although no, I'm close to true now, or this plus share by transfer. Uh, we're working on, on it now. By the time JSB comes around, the shares would have been transferred. And I made the point also, nothing is transferred until the share certificates are issued. You can give as many excuses as you want. But suppose you know got share certificate. Every no got that's all now. Uh, that, that shares remain untransferred. Uh, so, uh, based on all this uh, outstanding JSB, me, me making this, uh, I'm making this uh, difference. Uh, let me look, understand that I'm not calling for a working moderator purely for the ratification issue. There are JSB, uh, ABG, national government agendas relevant to the implementation of autonomy uh, that requires to be addressed. I mean, no stop the dispute, but if we leave it the way it is, if we treat it the way it is, we'll come back at the next JSB, and when this term is over, and even when Bougainville gets independence, uh, we will leave those issues unresolved. Some of these issues need to be resolved. Money is a big issue. We remind him house that when this argument on outstanding uh, restoration and development grant came up, it was agreed by the two governments. Tupla Gabmani agree also, more I give me by using UN, lo mediating this outstanding restoration and development grant. Now you mean Tupla by accepting decision lo UN or mediator. So, all expert the UN, you work on this issue. All you talk up to 2018, 2018, 
law restoration and development grant, national government, your involvement will over 800 million. Up to 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024. Six years later. So you add him. The national government, in my view, owes the people of Bougainville more than a billion kina. Mm. MEC. MEC will make him this calculation. If they owed Bougainville up to 2018, about 830 to 850 million. Now that it's 2024, I mean, no hard to calculate him also. The national government owes uh, Bougainville more than a million kina in outstanding restoration development grant. Now, me digress the click, now me talk to the NARPLA issue. Uh, at the moment, he got dispute. To cross the main long national government na Bougainville, long all PM's commitment, where with due respect, uh, regional member, Minister of the Police, and we rely long uh, again opinion of state solicitor in order long opening new plan account, and as I speak, uh, funding long uh, PM's commitment has already gone into that account. And when we had the discussion with the Prime Minister, the President made it absolutely clear. We know like talk talk lo money blo you pla national government. You people need to give me what is constitutionally owed to me. Uh, give give me what I can do within my control. Lo deliver long uh, people lo Bougainville. Uh, Record by show him, uh, Mr. Speaker, record by show him also, me give him example, the Minister of Long Finance will be in a better position to give us those details. But suppose you look, look long uh, budget, the Bougainville, ABG budget, example, suppose 100 million in budget, by the end of the budget cycle, at the end of the year, we probably have received, will have received only about, say, 20 million. Uh, national government, he boasts, na fighting bros, blogger, na talk, ABG, you have yet again received the highest budget. But in practical terms, by the time the year ends, you may buy some, only something like 20 million out of 100 million. You compare him. Where inside to low budget long uh, ABG, and we feature him all get a money belong all national member. All the PSIP, all the DSIP, all the PM's commitment, all of this is also featured in the, in the ABG budget. Uh, but you may not control him. ABG no control him. These are funding that is controlled by the national members and the national government. In which case, but you look at the implementation chart long all. Whilst in the ABG budget, you may buy some about 20 out of uh, 100 million. In the case of national program, almost 85 million out of 100 million is received. Uh, so that's the sad reality. You may feature in the budget, and yet we don't control it. Mm. So even got talk talk finish also, maybe we should not feature it. Why are we featuring it in our budget? I mean, inflating figures blame low budget. And yet we don't have any control over it in terms of expenditure. So I'm on some issues where uh, on the advice belong uh, finance minister has now been referred to the JSB. So any important issue, I mean, no need, I mean, no need him, you me law. Come up in dispute being sing out the moderator. Um, argument below me also. He got sample something now. I mean, the moderator will come and mediate him before it becomes a dispute. Uh, so, uh, me like him, house law, support him 
this is the government this is the position uh, bc has asked uh, the president law writing or prime minister consult one time prime minister now number one uh, look look long all this place use now number two uh, sing out hurry up low one plus jsb uh, so i missed up long long uh, president um Law bipartisan committee, you may got membership, Honorable Bocia, uh, Honorable Masiu, uh, Honorable Hamal. Those are the uh, uh, ABG members, law bipartisan committee. Uh, the argument that is unresolved at the moment, me being insist on behalf of this government that not only do we have membership, but it must get clear expansion, law activity, law bipartisan committee, law including awareness from all national member. These are the people who will actually determine the ratification result. We not like him bipartisan committee. It make him how bipartisan committee, law MIPLA, law referendum been making. Round round, law get a half now. Talk talk lo people, lo ten up long time lo vote, lo referendum. Though that, that's different. We had the uh, final hurdle blow display issue long independence. The people who will vote are the people sitting in on the floor of the national parliament. And therefore me insist, uh, me insist, Mr. Speaker, that you know you may got membership to solo ABG, lo, lo bipartisan committee. It must clear statement. Become law minister Makiba, also activity long uh, uh, bipartisan committee, and we include him to awareness, long all national member. Now you play member of law bipartisan. I'm trying you play sit down one time, all colleagues play play legislative committee. You play identify him, all resource people who can come and provide that information to the national members, uh, because. Me, me like him through all some. Me, I'll get I like him all some. Time, uh, member of the House, me vote. He's making an informed decision. Uh, it would be futile. Under any circumstances, lo kirapna refer him this la important matter. Igolo display member of the floor who has absolutely no idea. Uh, so continuous adjournment long. Uh, uh, Parliament, Mr. Speaker, me understand him all issues of motion of no confidence. Na, uh, national government, you make him some plus strategic decisions, law, agenda him house, blah, blah, blah. My problem is uh, Bougainville is also a national issue. And therefore, some blah, blah, strategy to blow government, think, think, law issue of Bougainville. Because now you defer him house. Bipartisan in an upkirap. Bipartisan can work until you minister come out. Now you announce him this plan. Membership law ABG. Now you announce him to this plan expanded activity. Uh, Mr. Speaker, suppose uh, Minister Makiba, I mean, give him guarantee. He's given a personal guarantee. Uh, but if he forgets, uh, Mr. Speaker, suppose I'm losing thing. Uh, lo announce him also uh, bipartisan, he must make him awareness to lo national members. You uh, blood triple chunonoya. Mami rouse him, you blood triple long bipartisan committee. He no got need lo participate. Uh, suppose national government, you know, serious. Lo include him this la part where you blood must make him awareness lo all national members. You know, um, you know, sing out lo Yupla personally, it is your your committee that will pull in resource people. Lo talk talk long all law, school him all long in terms of peace agreement or what is an independent nation, what are the sovereign issues that are outstanding. And responsibility of Yupla. But that awareness and information, it must call the people that really matter. You know this Yupla man Mary Tari? Uh, you know man Mary Manus who go around around lo Rengau? Uh, the people that really matter are the members of the house. And me like him through through also, we must get public 
pronouncement of this flight activity. Uh, and the sooner it's made, the better, because then you plow triple to Julia, you can, can start work. Uh, uh, in conclusion, uh, Mr. Speaker, there are some decisions this government must make. Uh, the obvious one being, should ABG continue to be engaged in the ratification process? Like I said yesterday, this is a matter to be played out in Waigani, not Kubu. The parties have consulted and signed the Era Kony Covenant. My preferred option, Mr. Speaker, is to attain independence through the processes set out by the Bougainville Peace Agreement. The two, the two governments agreed to the BPA. It's a joint creation. Uh, me, me, like him through all time. You, me, must seem this like independence. One time endorsement of the national government. Uh, you, me, must brook loose. One time good pla look sabe he come lo mama country. Me, no like him this like independence. You, me, seem one time grung grung na cross. Uh, so, this is a peace agreement. And Tupla, only the man married Tupla government, they actually signed off on it. It's a, it's a joint uh, creature. And BPA, yeah, I may come up in this like, autonomous government. Now, I'm saying BPA, I may guarantee him constitutional referendum. I may say BPA, I may talk one of the options must be independence. Now I'm saying BPA, let me talk after law referendum, you must consult. Uh, now same BPA, let me talk after you plan consult. But national parliament now, based on the results, and by ratified. Uh, Mr. Speaker, may, may repeat him again. All get a display section here. No referendum, no options, no consultation. They were crafted before we knew the result. No referendum. Me like you make clear all this. Only that. Only no saw we want them by result. No referendum. Only no saw we want them question by stop law referendum uh, ballot paper. But only kira up, no only chat him out, no only talk. Whatever the result. Uh, Whatever the result, by God consultation, now be a national parliament by ratify. Tete, you may kirab na toko, you may tanim na you may make him this final decision making blow parliament. Also, M straight, I mean, he lost something. Suppose national parliament he ratify him, you may go ahead. So, so not ratify him, then that's the end of the matter. That's, that's not the intention. Uh, that's not the intention. Hmm. How this La Peace Agreement no leader man Mary been uh, agree long and um, the greatest unknown was the referendum result. So law itirabna he remained flexible. Law itirabna remained flexible for whatever the outcome of this referendum. Even last time giving you pla, uh, some pla accepts from all constitutional provisions. Where Mama Loi Kirab Naitok, suppose long consultation, and in it law section 342, under consultation, he come up, uh, uh, Tupla government, lo whatever agreement only come up long end. Now, this uh, agreement, lo Tupla government, yeah, I mean, inconsistent. One time, Narpla Hablo Mama Lo, this is part 14, it must prevail. Uh, it was a deliberate uh, uh, decision by a leader man because they were looking into the future and not being able to say uh, what the outcome will be. So it was put in. So whatever you to play, uh, 
come up long and through long a referendum result na consultation. And if it is inconsistent, sorry, if it is not um, consistent with other parts of the constitution, then because this is a work come up, it come through part 14. This is a consultation or something, yeah. Will prevail. Uh, will prevail. And we talk to also in part 14, specifically applies to Bougainville only. So this blessing out also. Oh, suppose we play, give you play independence, but not play resource rich province to blessing out. That's nonsense. That's nonsense because the relevant provisions does not apply to any other province except Bougainville. Now, when I'm not province too, we've been got crisis. This is a peace agreement, this autonomous arrangement, this la referendum issue, na independence. And we come through la this la crisis, which is being uh, made worse because it's been got seen out before yet, la people blow Bougainville to be independent. And therefore, uh, to make this argument that, oh, no good me blah, give me blah, uh, independence, but not blood resource rich province by Singa. That's, that's your problem, deal with it. Uh, that's your problem, deal with it. But the law as it is, let me apply law, Bogan will does. Uh, Mr. Speaker, getting independence through ratification it's not the only way to achieve independence. Uh, let me make him clear, please, this uh, explanation. You may got Constitutional Commission. I remember Folato made a great question yesterday where Mickey Rabna me explained him. Also, and what, what I didn't uh, uh, explain yesterday, me like explain him now, Mr. Speaker, because ask him, uh, member of Lato, one of the important parts in that question was this law walk through long uh, constitutional constituent assembly na making mama law. Is that legally viable? Uh, you miss an up strong plan legal ground. And my answer uh, is yes. Uh, is yes. Look up in constituent assembly na adopting mama law na come up in independence. It's legally uh, uh, it's legally correct. Uh, guess one of the country been behind him this la process. Uh, or AG come up with nothing, thing, thing, wrong, I think. Uh, one of the country, are there any precedents as that you can show and, and tell this house that that's the same process that we follow? Oh, okay. The answer is Papua New Guinea. Answer in Papua New Guinea. Processing me making him seem independence through lo mama law. Law constituent assembly by adopting uh, Mama law through the preamble, now come up declaring me as independent. And you may be in exact footstep, now footprint, blah, 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 blah. Uh, You may not come up with new plus something. You may not make him unilateral declaration, blah, independence. Uh, we are following the exact legal processes that Papua New Guinea followed in getting independence from the colonial masters. You know, been got need, uh, Mr. Speaker, you know, been got need, long old colonial, colonial uh, masters, old mama, all line, been look out in Papua New Guinea. You know, been got need, long old, make him all constitutional amendment too. Uh, there, were, there was no need to pass any legislation in order for Papua New Guinea to attain its independence. So, uh, me, me give him a comfort law. Uh, this is the house, no people blow Bougainville. Also, even that, even that method of attaining independence uh, is perfectly legal and viable. Uh, we're not preferring one option against the other. Me explain in Penis, my preferred option is to go through the ratification process. But, Mr. Speaker, The more the national government procrastinates, the greater the possibility of Bougainville attaining independence through other legal means. 
other than the BPA endorsed process of ratification. Number two, asking meeting and be important is that in light of the first draft of the independence constitution being ready and the imminent need to set up the constituent assembly, discussions must begin on when exactly will be the year for independence. Current general agreement Loera Kony, I mean not before 2025, and no later than 2027. So, and by one in time now, because Mama Lona of the independent nation is ready. All by carry we go out, long consultation, only come back, constituent assembly, so she adopt him, and we must make him number two decision, and we set him date the first election. The independent nation, the Bogan will, and in it, the constitution, independence constitution. And therefore, me believe, also, and this ask him now, you may need long, start talk talk long end. Uh, you know something long, uh, cross long end, uh, Mr. Speaker? There's already an agreement of not before 2025 and no later than 27. You may must make, make him a uh, decision, you may must start talk talk long end. And by decision where constituent assembly by make him through long M talk long one M date by you may hold him first election. Uh, but this uh, decision, the one M year must year of long independence. You may must start talk talk long end because suppose me twenty twenty five and me put down straight one time ABG election. One M thing thing belong all national member. Ask them me talk talk long case blow member blow not. She came in through a by-election. One em thing thing belong em. Em mi ama mas. Lo cut him time belong em. Uh, long. Because time independent nation belong bogon will sign up. You know got more national seat. Me make him clear. Em mi no got national seat. Papua New Guinea is a different country. Uh, you like you find him simpler way where all, all popular national members by involved. So, uh, ABG cross, cross now set in 2025. Uh, national government, you play, play too much law, Bougainville. All right, me play by set in 2025. All same year long independence. And me minimum same constituent assembly, sit down, adopt him constitution. Now set him 2025, and year long election. Or you may consult one time national member because Term long all, and by finish law 2027. Uh, or you may consult one term all. Now you may either agree law 2027 or Namel Road long end. You may put him in law 2026. I'm all thinking think that's all, all options may be given. So suppose you talk law 2026. Uh, so what happens law? You may buy me ABG election law 2025. Now being uh, election can be independent nation law 2026. Or also member of law Lato have been asking. But you got need to go out to people, to consult. So suppose you may make him decision. Also by no got election law 25, now by got election law 26, or national member too, you agree also. Or normal, normal ground, I'm 2026. You may not get to agree law 26. All right, me come back to the house, now me make him amendment. Law mama law, so you may defer him election equal law 2026. But this law election law 2026, by no nap stop and in it now long, uh, constitution law autonomous government, and by stop and in it long, constitution law independent nation law Bougainville. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I notice uh, some latest development, which I don't like, uh, which I don't like. One of these things are the, uh, the unilateral declarations and decisions made by the national government on certain issues. The requirement for consultations in the BPA were deliberately put in 
So there is a buildup of trust between the two governments. The absence of consultation is creating mistrust. President, they make him legal explanation long. Issue of law police. Uh, uh, suppose you go through the BPA, me talking you. BPA a hip one time requirement law consultation. And it was deliberate. When the negotiation was on the peace agreement, it, was, it started in a climate of mistrust. It started in a climate of mistrust. So it was agreed that every step of the way, every decision, if, in fact, that's how double entrenchment too come up. Uh, where you, uh, Papua New Guinea, no, would you change him law long? No, would me blame him as lawyer? No, you change him law long. Why can't he? So double entrenchment, they come up. You can make him amendment, because an identical amendment, he must come up to the display house before it takes effect. Those were intentional, because there was an absolute lack of trust, the two plus side. And the only way, the continue to build him up trust here, yeah, and the impose him on requirements, the consultation. That was the only reason. So the BPA and part 14, you will find, you will find the need, the requirement for the need for consultation. Time national government is start making decision without consultation. We making this a warning penis. No can, no can believe suppose Bougainville too. He start making more unilateral decisions than declaration. Uh, that's why me talk, me prefer him yet this la ratification process because Emmy got Emmy joint creation where two plus society deal now overcoming all problems long all by consulting. By consulting. So uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, even even whilst problem long talk uh, talk na me multiple minister Makiba has broken down. In our series of letters, we actually left it open for the president, now prime minister, if they wish to revisit all these places, yeah, they'd be allowed to. Uh, so in all some, do I pass all that? It's, may repeat him, and you mean Bougainville will leave this independence. It's in our interest, law attaining independence. It's in our interest to attain a peaceful transfer uh, instead of Grungrang Nago. So, uh, me no like him, uh, Mr. Speaker. Me no like him, this placa and uh, unilateral uh, decisions that are being made without consultation. Law issue of law policy, yeah, and you me look him. Now, uh, time me na president in making this la media uh, condemnation of this la decision. Uh, the, the national government came back and said, ah, no, 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 uh, uh, Mr. President, one time attorney general, sorry, we're not talking about the change in the head of the police service. This is somebody else down the rank. It doesn't matter. Seriously. You go through law police uh, peace agreement, but you find him that law issues law police, you do not move nothing without consultation, one time Bowen Bill. Me remind him you me. Uh, crisis here was worsened because of the police. It started off as a law and order issue. Now police, only come inside the mobile squad. Only come, only cook him all house. And there was massive human rights abuse. They started doing what they normally do in the highlands. And that's the difference. On top of the highlands, you walk like cooking all bush material house. Here, all picking him, blame me, all young people blame me. All he busy, all send up him house. You married man, Mary, you send up him permanent house. So this destruction was different. You are burning down the livelihood of a young Bougainvillian. It's not a bush material house. Now, now, time you may stop all this like comfort, all peace. You make it up now, you may start losing things law history. We need to be careful. Suppose you be not careful, history will repeat itself. Uh, me talking about truth. It doesn't take much.
It doesn't take much. Bougainville, the most peaceful people in the world, in the whole world. The most peaceful Christian people in the whole world can turn up and start killing. Uh, can start killing. So, uh, Mr. Speaker, this law requirement block consultation. I mean, no, accidentally, me plus lawyer put him go inside. It was deliberate so that two plus government only uh, only continue to build him trust as they go on. Now. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, me make him clear to all them. Even where we I mean, know about consultation provisions, uh, you had uh, bodies where uh, national member represent, sorry, national government representation is on that committee. Example, the senior appointments committee. Uh, you got all NARBLA uh, bodies that are in existence now, where instead of consultation, you have a national government representation of some sort. MLO display a law makes all some uh, two plus society clear law on him something he come out and continue to build trust. Me repeat him, uh, the moment you start doing unilateral decisions and declarations, uh, you are creating mistrust. Bowen Williams, since the crisis, are naturally very suspicious people. Now, yeah, you may suspect, look we'll at something. So, as only talk to God by come tomorrow, why me suspect him too? Uh, number two, Mr. Speaker, as I mentioned yesterday, there's a call by the uh, Pango Party president of the Bougainville branch. I'm seeing out the Bougainvilleans. The by membership na join him Pangu Party na implement him all Pangu Party initiatives for the next 20 years. He got let me stop. This is a post block Chris now. Now M yeah. You look at some you know more believable independence. You like him Pangu by stop Castle. Now implement him all SME, now all infrastructure. It, it's not lost on me because maybe not ask him this last him, Lord time blow election. Because post of Lord Pangu, let me talk talk to so economic independence. Let me not talk talk long political independence. But me trust him, uh, all Bougainville members. Lo issue of independence. But I'm now here yeah, at the executive level. All executive now will talk not about something. So missing out, lo all national members will clarify him. Some of the time you meet to executive level, or manager number two, yeah. or boss blow office too, you may like come up with some you may member too. No good, uh, with due respect, no good this uh, uh, party president in you know, seeking endorsement. Or talk or right belong all national members. So me invite him all uh, national members to come out and I clarify him uh, this issue. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I remind the people of Bougainville of the need to remain united uh, behind this government and as one people. The enemies of independence and peace have commenced their subversive activities. And I remind everyone that it is our own people and leaders who will be used to disunite and frustrate the independence agenda. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Leader of Government Business.